Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Jason Barker with the Natural Athletes Clinic. Today I want to talk to you and show you how to modify your running shoes to fit a pair of correct toes. So what are correct toes? Well, correct toes are a little device we use that, if this is my foot, fits in between the toes and helps keep them spread out and keeps them straight. In a normal running shoe, we've got that narrow toe box, and what happens to those toes is they get really crunched up in here. As you can see, the toes aren't able to function normally because they're crowded together. It's kind of like giving you a hug and you might not be able to use your arms as well. And what happens over time is when those toes are crunched up there together, you start to lose the ability of those intrinsic muscles in the feet to do their own action and for it to uh, work independently. So then we start seeing problems in the hip, in the um, Achilles, in the ankle. You can start having knee problems all the way up to the hips. So we're going to show you how to get a pair of correct toes fit into your running shoes for proper use so that you can be um, as comfortable as you can and so you can run lots and lots of miles without getting things like hammer toes or bunions or Morton's Neuroma. That's when you get a pinch nerve on the bottom of your foot. That's a real, real problem to have. So keep watching. I'll show you how to modify your running shoes. Okay, so we've got ourselves a pair of correct toes here. And this is a new pair for me. And just so you know, my old pair lasted, um, I think, oh geez, probably close to eight years. Okay, so you can see this is a medium-large pair. You can see how um, gooey they are and kind of rubbery. So mine were just starting to kind of fray right in between there and lots and lots of miles on them. Now, I'm going to modify mine and it's super easy to do. I'll move the box out of the way so you can see a little bit better. But... I don't like this uh, fourth spacer here that goes in between the fourth and fifth digits. It just kind of drags my pinky toe a little too far out. So very, very simple. Um, I'll snip mine just right here and just snip this piece off. Uh, other videos, you can see where we've just halved the fourth spacer here so you get a little bit of space. But I don't need that, so here goes. I'm just going to slice that off and I kind of make the the little sides um, nice as smooth as you can. Again, you can see how flexible this stuff is, but you just don't need any extra material jutting out and perhaps poking you in the feet. So we'll just snip that off, and there you have it. So I'll space out my first through the fourth toes, and that, that little pinky will just kind of sit alongside there. Mine doesn't seem to do a whole lot. It's, it's pretty straight, actually, but I have problems keeping the uh, the great toe, which of course I'm using my hand to show you, and these other ones in line. So that's how we did it. We just snipped the end off. Uh, doesn't take much. A little pair of scissors here. Piece of work. Easy piece of work. And then we'll snip that off. Then we're good to go. Okay, and then we'll put them on the feet and see how they fit inside the running shoe. Okay, so now... I've got my correct toes on my feet and my feet in my brand new pair of shoes and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of feel along the top of the shoe here or rather I'm going to show you where I have the most pressure. Definitely over here this is my great toe. This feels good. You can see I've got a lot of um, extra material as far as the running shoe goes so this isn't too tight or anything like that. My toes aren't crammed in here but when I wear correct toes I get some uh, some pretty good pressure over here on the lateral side of my toes and the lateral side of my foot. Here's here's the top of my pinky toe, by the way. And then right here is that third spacer that I left. So if you kind of show, I'll show you on top here. Here's that spacer. It's kind of sticking up right here. So this is where I get the most pressure. That feels a little uncomfortable. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of make a mark here and actually that that uh, stitching is pretty good but probably like you know, just barely mark it right there that's where I'm going to make a cut in the running shoe so I can give this a little bit of extra breathing room and uh, then we'll be even in more comfort when we're going running now you're probably thinking this guy's nuts why is he going to tear up a brand new pair of running shoes well not to gross you out but here's my old pair and these shoes have about, I don't know, 
a lot. I'm embarrassed to say probably about a thousand miles on them. I like to wear my shoes for a long time and run them into the ground. You can kind of see they're missing their tread. Um, they don't look that bad actually. And these days running shoes are built so well that, you know, the shoe doesn't really fall apart. It's the stuff in the middle in the inside that you can't see. But nonetheless, here's, here's my old cut. Okay. And I'll do a close up. So this is the original cut. I even did cut down into the, um, this other thicker fabric on here. And you can just see, oops, it's starting to tear there a little bit. And I've done tons of races in these shoes, tons of triathlons, uh, even did an Ironman in these ones. So there was a marathon on these, uh, lots and lots of miles. But the shoe, this, this is fine. This is the original cut. It's not spreading. It will not do anything to the integrity of your shoe. And you can see this is in, in very good shape. And I've even got an older pair, <clears throat> excuse me, that is in just as great a shape. They're my lawn mowing shoes now. So point is, you can modify your shoes. They will not fall apart. <clears throat> I don't uh, make a cut over here. I used to in other pairs of running shoes. But with this particular style, I don't need to do it. But nonetheless, I've got another shoe with a cut in here also, and it's fine. So there you have it. Okay, stand by for the cutting. Okay, we're back. I'm going to show you how to make an incision in your running shoe. And then you can see my, there's that threading I originally referenced. There's my little ink mark right here. So I've just got a sharp, short, sharp little knife here. Anything works. Obviously, you need to make sure it's very sharp. And then, of course, our goal is to not get blood on our brand new running shoes. You save that for the races. So I'll get my hand in here and I just want to make sure we're lined up. And then I'll just kind of do a quick poke. And it's, you know, if you've got something sharp, it goes through really very, very easily. And I'll just, probably just like that. That's all I need to do. Um, later on, after I, I'll, I'll do a, a shorter incision like this first. And then I'll put the correct toes in and I'll go for a run. And then probably what I'll do is come back if I feel that pressure and maybe cut right into here, this thicker stuff, just like I showed you on the old pair of shoes. See how we kind of went into there. Um, I do suggest that you are conservative when you are modifying your shoes. Uh, like I just said prior, we're not going to damage them permanently, but of course we don't want to do any unnecessary or extensive cutting in them. Um, you can see it's a little frayed right now up close. I just put it about an inch in there. Uh, I'll take a, a lighter and just kind of melt it real quick and that'll fuse all of these fibers together. And then that that's it. So it's a piece of cake. But if you do a cut here or if you do one over here, don't stress about it. It'll make the correct toes fit even better in your shoe. You'll be a lot more comfortable. And of course, the name of the game is comfort wearing the correct toes because we want to wear them long term to prevent all of those injuries that we've talked about uh, earlier in the before in the video there. Okay, so that's it.